Hello everyone, this is Crystal from Insta Yarn Creations. In this crochet video tutorial, we are going to work on a three-piece dishcloth set. Um, so I'm using 100% cotton yarn, and these are the colors that I'm going to be working with. Um, the plaid itself is, also, is actually called a buffalo plaid dishcloth set. It uses more darker colors like black and red. Um, I chose these colors just for the purpose of making this video because black is hard to kind of see, um, even just to regularly crochet, you know, without doing the filming. So I just wanted to make sure that I was using lighter colors that would be able, be, or would be easier to see through the camera. Okay, so I'm going to, so the first pattern that I'm going to work on with this dishcloth set is the one that has small squares. So in this set, um, we're going to be doing a lot of color changes and that might seem scary to some. Um, I mean, there is different ways that you can change colors. Um, I mean, the obvious is cutting your yarn and just inserting the next one, but because these ch color changes are so close together, that would be a lot of weaving in ends and a lot of knots that you would have to to make within the pattern itself. So it's a lot easier to just kind of carry your yarn through. So that's what we're going to do in this pattern. So we're actually going to carry the yarn in through the stitch when we change colors. Um, so I'll show you how we're going to do that and I'll show you how you go from transitioning to one color to another. So I'm going to start with my sea foam green. So the color that you start with um, generally will probably end up being what your border is going to be made with. So, but I mean, the the one pattern is done in like um, like stripes of different colors. That'll probably be the easiest one to do out of the the three of them. I'm of course starting with the hardest one, which is the small squares. So that means we're going to be doing multiple color changes in each row. Um, and then we'll move on to the next one. So the first thing that we need to do is our slips, our slip knot. Okay. And then we're going to chain 33. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so now we have our 33 stitches. I'm just going to pull out some more yarn here. And for row one, we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So we're not going to go with the hook, the chain that's on our hook, or the next one. We're going to, or this one here, we want to go from the third chain from the hook. So we're going to go into this one here. So typically what that's doing is it's treating these two chains here as our first double crochet. Um, so we're going to double crochet from in the, to the third chain from the hook, and then we're going to double crochet in each of the next two chains. So double crochet, we yarn over, we insert our hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again, and pull through another two loops. And then we're just going to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two. Okay, and once more, so yarn over, insert into the chain, and 
there. So now we have three double crochets. So now we are going to change color to, I'm gonna go with white here. So, so now we're changing to our color. So the trick is, and I just kind of wanted to, to show you those double crochets first, but um, that's why sometimes it's better to like read ahead into the pattern to know when you're gonna need to change your color because you can just start using this, but you're gonna end up finding that that top stitch is gonna actually still be with the green. We want it to be white. So we need to actually um, just undo that double crochet that we did. And we're gonna just start to do our double crochet like we normally would. Okay, and we're gonna pull through the two loops. And then instead of now grabbing this to pull through the last two loops, we actually are gonna take our white and we're gonna put it around our hook. And then we're gonna actually pull through with the white. So now you can see that that top stitch now is going to be white, which we want it to be for our next double crochets that we do here. So um, this is where we're gonna carry our yarn, okay? So we now have, so that part you would weave in. You might have to pull on it to tighten it a little bit. Um, I usually, just leave it for now and then I weave in the ends later. So this is our seafoam green. So we just want to carry it underneath because we're going to need to use it in just a couple more stitches. So we're going to actually now do four double crochets with the, um, with the white. So we're going to go into our next chain, but we're going to make sure that that our green stays right there and we go around it. Okay. So that's our first one. So remember how I said we, we treat this one as our first double crochet. That's why we started from the third chain from the hook. Cause now we're going to do four double crochets with the white, but we're going to do three and then we have to stop because we need to change back to the green. So again, make sure that you're carrying this along so that you're basically going around the two strands there and do your double crochet. Okay. So, and you might have to, you know, pull on this to kind of, you know, guide it through so that it's not getting bunched up in behind there. So now we are, onto our fourth double crochet with the white, but we don't want to complete it because we need to change back to the green. So we're going to go through the first two loops of the white, but now we're going to drop our white. We're going to pick up our green. And we're going to pull this through so that it changes our next square to the green. So we're going to repeat the same thing again. This time we're going to carry the white through underneath and we're going to do four double crochets with the green. So make sure you're carrying that through. Like I said, you might have to kind of just guide it a little bit. So we're going to do our fourth one. So again, we don't want to complete it with the green. We're going to switch colors again here. So we're going to go into our stitch. We're going to pull through. We're going to go through the first two. But now we're going to switch back to our white. And we're going to pull it through. 
and now we're back to our white. So we're just going to keep repeating that process again. So we're going to insert and do four double crochets, carrying that green with us there. Okay, so that's our third. So now we know that we're going to need to switch back again to do our fourth one. So we're going to go in. We're going to go through the first two loops, but then we're going to now change colors again. We got to make sure that we're carrying that white down there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. We'll start out by doing the three double crochets. Okay, so we're going to do our fourth one. So again, we're going to change back to white. Okay, so we need to change our colors. Okay, so we're switching back to the white. So we're just going to pull that through. Okay, so once again, we'll do three double crochets. I'm making sure that we're carrying that green with us. This is our third one. Okay, so we're on to our fourth, so we're going to need to change colors again. So we're only going to go through the first two. And then we're back to using our seafoam green. And then we want to carry the white through, do three double crochets. So that's our three. So we're going to need to change back to white. Oh, and then see what happens. You're not paying attention. Forgot to grab my white. So we're only going to go through the first two loops. Bring up our white. Okay. That's what happens. You get wrapped. Somehow you end up getting wrapped into around your balls of yarn there. Okay. Okay, so we're at the end of the row here now. So we do need to um, carry the green along still because we're going to need to use it when we move over to here. So I just kind of bring it like that underneath my hook there so that I can uh, kind of carry it up. And then we're just going to do a chain two and then we're going to turn. So um, this will get uh, 
this will be blended in when we do a border around it at the very end. So you won't be able to see necessarily that. It'll kind of just blend in a little bit. So again, we need to carry our yarn um, into the, uh, the stitch here. So we're gonna do um, our three double crochets because that chain two counts as our first one. And then Okay, so and then we're still carrying that yarn. And then this is our third one, so we actually need to do a color change here. So we're gonna grab our green and then we're gonna pull that through. So now we've changed colors, so now we wanna carry the white and work with the green, but we're gonna do four that so this is going to be our fourth one so we're going to need to um, change color so we're going to go in pull through two but now we're going to move over to our white Okay, so we're going to want to do the same thing all over again until we finish this row. So we just want to carry our thread or our yarn. Um, we're going to do the green and then switch back and forth until we get to the end of the row. So I'm just going to finish that up and then we will meet back at the end. Um, so again, you're just following the same process that we did with that first row that we did. And then once we get to the end here, I will show you how to do the next row because we're going to be incorporating the other color. Okay, <clears throat> so we are at the end and we have completed our first row of our plaid um, dishcloth here with the small squares. So now we're going to be introducing another color. So this is where it gets to be, you know, a little more challenging because we'll have another color here. Um, we won't actually be working with the with the seafoam green anymore. Um, so the only thing that we need to do with it is that we just need to make sure that we're carrying it up the side so that when we move to the next row, we'll have access to it. Um, but yeah, so uh, we need to... Um, change back to our white and we're going to chain two but what I would do is bring the green forward when we do our chain two okay So now that we've got our chain two in here, we now just need to do um, our double crochets again. So we are gonna do three double crochets. So we don't need to carry that green uh, with us because we're not using it until the next, um, the next time we do a color change. So I, <laughs> you're gonna find that the like this isn't going to look very pleasing to the eye right now but like I said before we will be going around with a single crochet as a border so that'll kind of help blend that in. OK. 
Okay, so we have to do one more, but we need to do a color change. We're going to introduce our next color. Okay, so that means I don't want to finish off that double crochet just yet. I'm going to grab my other color here. And once again, I'm going to find the end. So as you can see, I have a bit of a tangled mess here. Once I get this orange going here, I'm going to move my green out of the way because I don't need it mixed in there. But yeah, so we're just going to grab the orange now to finish off our double crochet. So I mean, again, we have a loose end here, so and you might have to pull down on it to tighten it a little bit. So now we're changing our color to orange. Okay, so we need to do four double crochets, but we got to carry that white because now we're going to be alternating between, whoops, between the uh, orange and the white. We're going to do that for two rows. Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one and now we're going to, and then I'm going to get this green out of the way before it gets too tangled in here. Let's go. Moving on. So we're going to change back to our white. So we're just going to finish off this last double crochet, but we only go through the two and then we grab our white. And we got to carry the orange across now. So three. And then we do our last white, but we are working with orange now, so we need to Change over to orange. And just make sure that you're still carrying your yarn underneath there. Okay. So now we're back to orange. We're going to do our four double crochets. We're going to go back and forth until we get to the end of the row. So I'm going to do that now and we will meet back at the end. All right, so we are back at the end again here. So we're going to continue working with the orange and the white for the next row to complete those squares. So I've just kind of carried the white up uh, up here um, and then we're just going to chain two. Okay, so now we're just going to again work our way trying to not get tangled, sorry. So yeah, so we now have changed our chain two um, to move on to the next row. So it's basically just finishing off the squares for this. So it's the same, it's the same idea. We are just going to continue with our double crochets and changing colors after, uh, you know, at the last one, um, we always start with only doing the three because they consider this one your first double crochet, which makes it four with the chain two. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> you're just going to finish that row off like we normally would. And then um, you're just going to repeat the process. So the next row is just going to be a repeat of this one. So when we get to the end of this, I'll show you what I mean. We can start that next row and then um, hopefully you'll just be able to, we can kind of just work away and I'll just, you know, do a couple more, more stitches and then we'll come back when we get to, to the end to do the border. Okay, so once again, we are now at the end of our row, um, but this time now we're moving back to our seafoam green. So as I said before, we just kind of need to carry this up the side. So I know that kind of looks, you know, not very appealing, like I said before, but um, we will be doing single crochets around um, 
as a border so it will actually cover that up again with the light colors um, it might be a little easier to see but it will be with the green that we are doing that with um, so that you wouldn't even be able to tell that that's like that um, but yeah so we're just going to since we finished that row we need to chain two so we're just going to pull that so try not to make it too too tight because um, you don't want it to um, fold in your your dishcloth there so just let it kind of be loose and we just need to chain two so we're just going to do another one there okay so now we are going to do our double crochets with our seafoam green and we are switching now between the uh, seafoam green and the white again. Yeah, so I guess I didn't need to do that. Because we need to go back to white. want to take a look at the picture here to make sure that we are going back to doing the yeah the same colors that we did in the first row and we are okay so we need to do a color change back to white so we don't finish that one off we need to grab our white which and here we go <laughs> So this is why, again, we need to make sure that we're paying attention to what we're doing because I technically need to make sure I'm carrying that white through with us. So that was our chain two. So we need to bring this white up so that we can incorporate it into our stitch here. like I said I'm just I'm doing this pattern as we go okay so this is where we do our color change back to white Okay, so yeah, so now we're just going to complete this um, next set of squares. So that's two rows that we need to do with the white and the seafoam green. And then uh, we'll go back to the next um, two rows will be with the orange and the white. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work on Sorry, what row are we on? Row five. <clears throat> and we need to complete until we have 16 rows. So we're just going to keep repeating this process back and forth, just like we did at the very beginning there, to finish off this dishcloth. So I'm going to finish this off for you guys. Um, so again, just follow the same steps that we did at the very beginning for the first row or the first set of squares and then on to the next one and then once we get that finished we'll come back and we will work on doing the border and we are back with the completed checkered or plaid um, it'd be more plaid if you went with the colors that are in the actual pattern picture more like you know your reds and your blacks um, but I chose to use these just so it'd be easier to see the colors when I crochet. 
during the video. So yeah, it looks really nice. I'm actually quite pleased with how this, how this turned out. It's very lovely. Um, so I weaved in all the ends already um, from the various colors that were kind of hanging off to the sides there when we first attached them. So I did just weave all those in. Um, so now we just need to put our border on and that's just going to be uh, done using single crochet. So as you can see, we have that one edge that doesn't look, look that neat because that's where we carried the yarn up, but the border should help kind of conceal that a little bit. But yeah, so I'm going to use the green for the border. So we're just going to start in the corner here. We're just going to pull the yarn through. So we are going to leave a bit of a tail so we can weave that in to secure it. And we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to do another single crochet. And we're doing that just because we're in the corner. So we're kind of trying to give it some, some depth there. Okay. And then we're just going to um, do a single crochet all around the outside and we're going to do two single crochets for every double crochet. So we know that each row here, we used a double crochet. So we're going to put two. See, I want to do doubles because that's what we've been working with. So we're just going to go into the side here. So just kind of, you know, just to get a feel for where there's some space. Wanting to do a start out by yarning over. So when we do just kind of want to get around that part. Um, so this orange isn't going to get hidden very well, but We'll just have to work with that. So yeah, so we're just doing, oops, we want to be more, So I am kind of um, closing that tail in there that we started with when we added our border on. So yeah, we just single crochet, try to put two in each double crochet that we did there. And I mean, you can kind of get a feel for where your hook's going to go in when you're doing the border here. I mean, you can add additional single crochets if you want, just as long as it's fairly even. I do one more and then we're going to be at the corner here. So in the corner, we're going to single crochet and then we're going to chain one and then we're just going to single crochet again. And it kind of brings us around that corner. But yeah, so that is one side of the border done there. You can kind of tell that it's, it's already cleaned up that edge a little bit. It's just this orange. I don't know what happened up in here, but I think I must have carried it over the wrong, but again, the orange is just going to stand out anyways, but I still think it looks pretty decent. So we're just going to keep doing a single crochet all the way around. Okay. So I'm just going to continue working on that and we will come back and meet up at the last few stitches. 
Okay, so we are almost at the end here. We just have a few more stitches. So this top row um, is, you know, probably the easiest to do because we already have stitches across the top. <coughs> stitch here if I can tie it tight. All right, so now we're just going to cut our yarn, leave a little bit of a tail and we'll need to weave that in. We're just going to pull through. And then we'll just weave that in and then we'll take a look. Try to keep it in with the, the green as much as you can, just so that it blends in there. It's pretty thick along this border though, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, and there is our completed small square dishcloth. So exciting. It's actually very lovely. But yeah, so see now how the border kind of cleaned up those ends there. Um, definitely looks a lot better now. But yeah, so that is the first video for this series. So the next dishcloth set that I'm going to pattern that I'm going to do that belongs in this set is the larger squares. So that's going to, um, we're still going to use all the same colors. It's just that we're going to have two of the same color in this corner and this corner, and they'll be the same color. And then we'll have the, um, different colors in these corners. So I think it'll look really cool as well. Um, I started with this one first because it would it was going to be the hardest one to work with with all the various color changes throughout. With the larger squares, um, we'll work more stitches before we need to do a color change. Um, and yeah, so that's obviously going to start with like half and then we'll do um, color changes in the top section as well. So stay tuned for that video. I am going to end this here now and get started on the next one.